channel thank you so much for subscribing to my channel it means a lot to me and it has encouraged me a lot thank you thank you thank you so much those who have not subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel okay and um, today I'm going to be talking about something that I'm loving so much that's why I could not get over looking at this bouquet of flowers okay I've had this fabric for a very long time until I had to come up now with this project of a kaftan dress. This dress is going to incorporate this whole design of uh, the fabric that you can see here. It's a series of them going all the way down, okay? I bought this from an African fabric website, okay? Let's get into the designing cutting and sewing of this kaftan dress you're going to need your fabric okay pins a tape measure you're going to need your pattern master and a straight ruler okay you're also going to need a tailor's chalk and a pair of scissors and these are the measurements that are required the armhole depth which you get by Dividing the bust circumference by 6 and adding 1.5 inches. Mine is 11 inches. Bust circumference, hip circumference, and you also need your dress length. Now, this is the plan for our dress, okay? This is the shoulder line, the bust line, and the hip line, okay? So on the shoulder line, you've got to plan the type of neckline that you want. The neckline I'm going to have here is going to be 2.5 inches deep and 8 inches wide. That is 4 inches on either side, okay? This is the armhole depth plus 2 inches, okay? And that will give me the bust line, okay? This is the hip line plus two inches, okay? So, as you can see, this dress has only got two stitching lines. That one in red on either side, okay? So basically, you join um, the bust line, hip line, and all the way down to about five inches before you get to the head, full length of the dress. Okay, so when you are designing your, your pattern, okay, let's say this is, this is your fabric, that's the front and the back, they are equal except that the neckline at the back is shallower than the neckline at the front, okay, so this is your fabric, you fold it in half like that. Okay, and then you fold it again, like that. Okay, so this is going to be your bust measurement, divide by four, plus half an inch, and then you mark there. This is going to be your hip measurement, divide by four plus half an inch, and you're going to join those lines, those points all the way up to here, okay? So, this is basically what it looks like. It's just one stretch of fabric, okay? If your fabric is not designed, it's plain fabric. You may not need to have this join here. It will just be a continuous fabric. All you do is just fold it in half and then fold it again and start putting in putting your measurements so now the next thing we are going to do now is to get onto our fabric and start imputing the measurements okay so these are my two pieces of fabric okay i've had to cut two of them like that as you can see okay and i made sure that the design is facing the same direction on both front and back okay the next thing i'm going to do is to fold that one in half Okay, fold it in half like that. So 
so the first thing I'm going to do is just to draw a straight line as the shoulder line okay so I'm going to put my ruler there and draw a straight line okay so that is the shoulder line okay so from the shoulder line I'm going to impute my armhole depth measurement which is 11 inches so I'm going to mark 11 inches down here okay I'm going to mark 11 inches or across so that I can draw a straight line okay Go ahead, draw a straight line. Okay. Then my shoulder, shoulder to bust measurement is 22 inches. So I go down here at the 22 inches mark and mark the hip line. Okay. So I mark 22 here again so that I can draw a straight line go ahead draw a straight line okay the next thing I'm going to do now is to do the neckline the front neckline is going to be two and a half inches deep so I mark two and a half inches right there, okay? And then I'm going to mark, measure again four inches across along the shoulder line. Okay? After drawing the front neckline, you come to the bust line here you divide your bust measurement by four mine is 11 inches okay and you are going to add half an inch okay and it becomes 11.5 and you mark okay you come to the hip measurement my hip is 50 divided by four is 12 and a half which is right here okay I'm going to add half an inch it becomes 13 and then I mark okay so after doing that the next thing is I'm just going to go ahead join those two points and go all the way to the end okay So basically, what is going to happen is, I'm just going to stitch along here. That's the stitching line, okay? So I'm going to transfer this to the back as well as the other side of the of the front. And I'll, I'll show you when I'm done, okay? Now, the back neck line is done, as you can see. So the next thing I can do now is to go ahead and cut the neckline of the dress separately okay that is the front and the back separate okay so i start by cutting out the back neckline like this okay then i go ahead and cut out the, the front neckline Okay, now I've got all my sewing lines on the wrong side of the fabric and these two 
uh, facing each other right side on the right side okay so the first th thing I'm going to do is just to make so along that shoulder line okay okay after joining at the shoulder seam this is what we have as you can see it's very big and flowing everywhere but this is now what we have okay that's the front this is the back and that's the neckline that's the neckline that you are seeing there okay so the next thing you are going to do is to uh, knit in the neckline you can either use a facing or you can use binding bias binding i've cut out two strips of bias binding here which i'm going to use now to knit and to and tidy up the neckline before i can join the two together okay okay now the neckline is nice and neat as you can see okay so i flip it back to the wrong sides facing so we are back to this now okay that's the front that's the back and the wrong side facing each other that's what we have now so the next thing we are going to do is to do to stitch here okay that stitching line here in red okay so this is the along these lines there and along that line down there okay now i've made those stitching lines in red okay and i folded this back and it's facing this way as you can see that's the neckline okay and it's all the four sides are facing me like that so what i'm going to do now is optional you can either leave it like this or you can make a curve like i'm opting to do here okay you can just eyeball it like i'm doing okay like that or you can draw it first before you cut it out okay that's it that's optional okay you can basically just leave it where it was okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to overlock all the way around all the way it's just like going let me trim this end like i've done here so you can see so basically that's what i've done okay i've trimmed off that corner okay and i've stitched here i'll put some pins there it's the stitching right okay so that has been stitched so what's going to happen is i'm going to open and overlock all the way around all the way all the way see until i come back to the edge and then when i finish i'm going to do a five millimeter hem all the way around Okay, so it's just going all the way, right, all the way up to the shoulder, down to the front, all the way up to the shoulder and down to the back. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing now. And finally, the dress is done. As you can see, all the edges are neatly done, okay, all the way around all the way to the other side that was like going to town and back my teacher always used to say so it was basically stitching all the way around twice overlocking first and then straight stitch okay thank you very much for watching i can't wait to go and try this one on okay so i'll be meeting you outside or inside depending on the weather and I'll be showing off my kaftan dress